What's up guys, it's Neon. I am back with another video back with my 2023 NASCAR Cup Series Bristol Dirt Race Review. Now we don't know if this will be the last race uh, on the dirt configuration. Uh, attendance apparently was shit. Uh, you know, you could help that by not having the race on Easter night, you dumb fox. But anyway, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's get into the race, shall we? Uh, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. I'm trying to get to 800 subscribers. I'm almost there, so subscribing would really help. Make sure to use the, uh, use the link down below to see what Landers and Fantasy Picks if you have Twitter. And I haven't plugged this in a while, but make sure to use code ANJJ for $5 off on orders of $30 or more at Circuit Diecast. So, Busher and Ty Dillon make early contact with the wall. 11 laps in. Caution for Joey Logano, Bubba Wallace, Todd Gillen, and William Byron. Byron shoves Logano into the corner. Wallace was already sideways and gets tapped by Logano and spins. Logano goes around and backs into the barrels at the entrance of Pit Road. Gillen slides it towards Wall after Byron comes up the track on him. Gillen has a tire go down. Matt Crafton filling in for Cody Ware, who's out due to person to a personal issue. Uh, hope all is well. Uh, goes for a bit of a spin. Caution comes out. Logano almost ass packs him at Soundhead reference. Um, Le Jones and LeJoy make contact, and LeJoy has to pit. And he gets a speeding penalty. And then shortly thereafter, Brad Kozlowski brings out the, the, uh, the caution for a spin of his own. And caution went in stage one uh, a little later as Josh Berry and Danny Hamlin spin off turn four. Uh, Kyle Larson takes the stage one win. Austin Dillon second. Kyle Busch third. Priest fourth. Blaney fifth. Bell sixth. Briscoe seventh. Reddick eighth. Haley ninth. And Byron in tenth. Reddick, Wallace, Truex Jr. and Ty Dillon stay out. Logano. Kyle Busch, and a few laps later, Ryan Priest all get into the wall following the restart. Jonathan Davenport goes for a spin, brings out the caution. Then the caution comes out after the restart for a Michael McDowell spin and save. Would not be the first one. Uh, Suarez and Logano have an incident. Race stays green. And that's the thing. Not every spin seemingly got called a caution. I think, I think some of them, it just depended on where it happened. Like if you were turned around backwards on the racetrack, or if it's like right in front of other cars or something like that, sort of, kind of. Um, I don't know. NASCAR was being weird. Uh, McDowell pulls another 360. Race stays green. Almondinger has an issue, and then caution goes out for a spin by Priest. Tolling thought to be broke, but was bent with a loose bolt. And Priest was not happy with Kyle Larson with this one. But now Kyle Larson was racing him, which led to this. Uh, Logano's night done from the earlier. Um, from the earlier stuff, uh, Ty Dillon gets in the wall, Bubba Wallace gets in the wall, then Noah Gregson gets in the wall, uh, Larson with a bit of wall contact, with Truex right behind him, so it slows Truex up, Kozlowski brings out another caution for a spin, uh, Eric Jones has a spin and saves it, Crafton somehow avoids hitting the pit road barrels, like, literally, he damn near freaking full speed into that, well, not really full speed, because you're going, what, around 100 miles an hour on this track, give or take, uh, because of the dirt, but, he damn near sent it in there. That would have been bad. Um, Austin Dillon and Kyle Busch made contact battling for position near the front. And Tyler Reddick takes the stage two victory. I don't know why I wrote stage one in my notes, but he won stage two. Austin Dillon second, Larson third, Bell fourth, Kyle Busch fifth, Briscoe sixth, Truex Jr. seventh, Blaney eighth, Haley ninth, and all around. Shout out Justin Haley. He got stage finishes in both stages. Um... You know, and uh, he had a damn good race today. Cons considering the penalty shenanigans from a couple of weeks ago and how, and then the appeal and how all of that affects his team, he had a damn good race today. It, it was crazy because you had Justin Yaley, or Justin Yaley, Jesus Christ, JJ Yaley starting in third. He qualified up there courtesy of passing points in, in his heat race um, and whatnot. And Throughout the race, there was a lot of guys. Part of it, part of it was when you stayed out um, during the pit stops and other times, because they were not competitive pit stops, and other times it was just basically just if you were able to drive your car up to the front or cautions playing out because there was a bunch of them. There were some interesting names that finished near uh, top fit, top 10, top 15 today. Uh, you'll love to see it. Uh, Larson spins and brings out a caution. Hamlin spins out and hits the wall. But he gets going, so no caution. Uh, and then a little while after, caution comes out again, this time for Larson and Priest. Priest got payback. Uh, Priest puts Larson in the wall, then doors him in the corner, which spins Larson out. Davenport caught him on the way by with contact, 
um, which hurt both of their cars. Larson ends up going to the garage, his day done, and Davenport pretty much the same thing. Larson bitched about it after. I mean, NASCAR Twitter is going to be up in arms about it, but like, pre said on the radio, he's done playing nice. Oh, uh, and Larson got what he got, so. And for the record, no, this isn't the same as the Chastain-Larson thing. Or, sorry, Chastain-Hamlin uh, thing. Because with the Hamlin-Chastain thing, first of all, Hamlin knew he was going to fall back. He knew he was, because he was on older tires, I do believe. So he just took Chastain with him, and then he admitted it on his podcast, which, again, I need I remind you, NASCAR said they wouldn't have done anything if Hamlin hadn't opened his fucking mouth. So if he learned to shut up once in a while, then he would have been fine and he wouldn't have been penalized. That penalty got held up this week, by the way. Uh, but anyway, regardless of how you feel, uh, the Larson Priest thing is Larson ran him rough, uh, he ha- which led to the caution from earlier that potentially could have ended his day with a toe link issue. Uh, it didn't, thankfully. And then Priest got him back later. It's a racing deal. Simple as that. Chastain spins, no caution. Alvarola ends up in the wall, and he would have to pit next caution uh, with 49 to go, courtesy of Noah Gregson, uh, who broke a toe link, uh, to get his own toe link replaced. Uh, J.J. Yaley goes for a spin, no caution. Briscoe ends up in the wall. Caution comes out for a Kyle Busch spin with about 15 or so to go. Uh, Burton showed with big debris up front. Uh, Blaney gets spun following the restart. He just basically just got ran over, if I'm being honest. And Chastain brings out the final ca- uh, the final caution on the final lap. Christopher Bell, a dirt co- dirt race guy, wins because the last because the first two Bristol dirt races were not won by dirt guys. Finally, a dirt guy wins, but it sucks at the same time because Reddick was catching him at the end. If the caution doesn't happen, or if they get a couple more laps, I think Reddick would have had a chance. But that's two years in a row. Reddick's been close to winning this race, and something happens. Last year, it was that. Barely any contact for Briscoe that cost him the win at the very end. Uh, so Reddick gets snake bitten on the final lap once again, but luckily he already has a win, so he's good there. Uh, so Bell gets his first win of the season. Nice. His first win, of course, since Martinsville last year in the playoffs, which put him in the final four. Another clutch performance for him at that point in time. And now the now we wonder, will Bristol Dirt be back? Um. I think the argument, it, but the good thing is that the cup race was not affected by weather. The only time the weather affected the weekend was practice uh, on Friday. That was it. Um. So, I do hope Bristol Dirt comes back next year. I would move it later in the schedule just in case because to try and not run up against the weather like you've been doing the last couple years. Um. And don't have, you know, don't have it on Easter weekend because if you don't have it on Easter weekend, you're gonna get better attendance. Cause why the hell? Because people are already going to church, they're gonna go have a big meal at home. Why the fuck would they want to go out to a freaking NASCAR race? I mean, people did obviously, but why do they want to do that on Easter Sunday? Move it back. Let NASCAR have its Easter weekend off again. You fucking schmucks. All of that aside, I would be honest. I wish there was a few less cautions in this race because the racing was actually pretty good. Like of the three Bristol dirt races, this was the best one. The first one was a wreck fest last year. Not as much of a wreck fest if I remember correctly, but it was still a wreck fest in some ways tonight. Yeah, there were wrecks, but for the most part, they were just single car spins in or a couple cars spinning, but no, Really, only what? Two, three cars got taken out of the race? Logano, Larson, and I believe Davenport? Like, compared to the last two years, that's crazy. That's legit crazy to think about. Um, I think NASCAR is getting better with this. But again, the attendance thing is really going to worry them. I would think... I, I would think you would keep Bristol Dirt on the schedule until National Fairgrounds is done. And ready to go. It keeps it, it allows you to still have the two Bristol dates, which I think Fox wants. Uh beyond that, who knows? So with all that being said, um, I do want to make mention of a couple of things that I didn't mention in last night's video. 
uh, and this hap this these came out while I was filming, so I didn't know ahead of time. Uh, USAC driver uh, Justin Owen uh, passed away yesterday after wrecking during uh, either practice or qualifying, I believe, uh, for an event he was at. Uh, car just broke loose and flipped a crap lo crap load of times, uh, and unfortunately he succumbed to his injuries. Uh, I believe they say he was only like what twenty six, twenty seven. It sucks seeing somebody go so young. Um, so rest in peace to him and prayers out to his family. And also, uh, it was made mention and made the rounds that Kale Yarbrough, one of NASCAR's legends, um, unfortunately is not doing well health wise. Uh, he's battling some sort of illness. Nobody, uh, we're not sure what. Uh, but just keep him in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, hopefully he'll be all right. Uh, so with all that being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will catch y'all next time. Peace.